Alright, hello and welcome. This quick video is going to be an overview of the programming language Max MSP or Max 7. So first things first, you can see that I have the website to Cycling 74 open and this is the company that makes Max. So if you don't have a copy of it on your computer yet, you can go here, cycling74.com, and you can download a free trial. So once you've downloaded it, uh, you can launch Max. And in this video, I'm not going to show you anything about actually making. I just want to give you a feeling for what Max is capable of and what it looks like when you might start patching and building in Max. So what I have open here is called a patch or a patcher. They're in interchangeable. And some people also use the word canvas. And in this canvas or in this patch, I have a number of items. So you see some things that you might recognize. So I'll zoom in here a little bit. For example, this looks like a toggle, something that, or a button that you might click. And indeed, I can turn it on and off. And then here you see this icon of a speaker. So maybe that turns the sound on and off. Um, and there's a play button. So these are called user interface objects and you're probably familiar with them. You may even, if you're a musician, know this idea of a filter. And this filter is not a user interface object, although it does have some user capabilities here, but it's, it's an object that displays data. So you have these interface objects, and then you have objects that display information. So they give you some indication of what's happening in your patch. Here you also have a video, and that's displaying the video feed. And then you also have a number of objects here that have words and then some numbers after them. You can't interact with them and you, they're not really giving you any information real time. And these objects just have basic functionality. And they're taking input, they're doing something with it, and they're putting an output out. Somehow this data is changed and each of these, these objects, they're called, have their own little function, their own little jobs to do. So there are three basic parts to learning Max. Um, and the first is objects. Max is built with objects, thousands and thousands of them. This is the built-in functionality of the language. Each one is named a different name and takes different arguments, and each one also um, deals with different data types. Data types is the second part to learning Max that you need to focus on. So what is a data type? This is like a difference between a word or a number or an audio signal or a matrix perhaps. Um, sometimes these are visually obvious. So for example, if you're looking at how all of these objects are connected, there are little gray lines and these are called patch cords. And there's a gray line here and then a different patch cord over here is green and striped. And so that visually tells you just right away, this must be a different kind of data than is contained in this patch cord right here. The third thing that is really important to learn in Max is logic. So how do I connect all of these things together in a way that makes sense? So if you think of a computer, a computer language like a straw, when you are drinking out of a straw, the only thing that's gonna come up from the bottom is, is one thing at a time. Something goes in and something comes out. And you have to tell the computer what to go in and what to go out, and it will do it in that order. So just a final note on Max. Max technically is an object-based programming language with a graphical user interface. So yes, when you think of programming languages, you usually think of text. And that does exist in Max, but Max has evolved so that you don't see that. You as the programmer will probably never look at that. So each of these objects is functioning on a lower level program, um, but Max allows you to interact with them in a graphical way, which can be more approachable for people who have less or no programming experience. In a way, Max is a hybrid then between your traditional lower level programming language and an application that you would use as an end user. So for example, something like GarageBand or something like Photoshop, which is ha has no programming, but has an end user. So if you're thinking of Max as a hybrid, 
you know, there are things that Max can do really well, and a lot of people will say, oh, Max can do anything, and that's pretty much true, but there are other applications that would do them faster and better and easier and cheaper than Max. So then comes the question, what do you use Max for? Why is it valuable? And I've come to learn that it's Max's ability to deal with inputs and outputs. Their slogan is connect anything to anything, and that is really true. So you'll see as you go along in Max that you have immense power to take input from anything in the world and then manipulate the data with extreme precision and an output to something else.